Hey guys, been out cutting some grass. I call this my baseball field. And I can't tell, I don't know if you can tell, but kind of clumpy. All right, we zoom in. And uh, say, God, oh, why did that guy leave his yard like that? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm letting it, I just finished about a half hour ago. It's about four in the evening. You can see the shade is starting to creep on my yard. I'm hoping it'll dry it out this evening and I've got a, a lawn sweeper it's right down there by the chicken house and I just run that over my yard and it picks it up and then I'm gonna when I get done I'm gonna pile it up and show you what all I get off this yard and what I do with it but uh I'll be back and let you see the results oh yeah this is uh, this is what I cut grass with. This is my, my uh, chop cut rebuild lawnmower. It's a craftsman mower with a hood gone. Hands broke on it. Uh, it's a craftsman buggy. I've got it rigged up with a top on it. And my little girl gets right that in here. Let's see what she's got. She's got a hat. She's got a mermaid, princesses. Oh, and this is the main part. Three Little Pigs, that's her favorite book. And she just sits back here and reads books and plays and she's got one of those little leak pad, iPad, whatever it is. She plays with it and she used to have big old time. She started crying when I got her out of here. Well, I just took some old scrap lumber I had around that I've been, I was gonna burn at my fire pit. And uh, some of this landscaping fabric, I had a roll of it handy. I just stapled it to the top and it worked pretty good. She's got a little breeze going in it. She really enjoys it. Well, I'll show you here in a minute while I get out of this these yard clippings. Hey guys, um, here's basically what it does on the, picking up the grass clippings. You can see closer to my house is better looking than on out in the yard. I've let this lay for three or four days, and. Uh, you know this was this was pretty thick when it was green. And you can see like right here. Let me zoom back. It tends to be more shakier when it's zoomed out. But uh, anyhow, I've just swept that up. I could stay out here all day sweeping this stuff up, but I really don't have time for that. So I done you know the back of the house. Uh, they're anticipating some thunderstorms for the next three or four days. And uh, after that, this, these clippings, I don't know what happens to it. It just rots or uh, blows away or what, but they, it'll be gone. And uh, I think I've hauled, uh, uh, hauled five loads of it today and two loads the other night. And here's what I do. Let's go in and show you the inside peak of the, the chicken pen house. I just throw this stuff in here pretty thick. You can see how thick it is. About two, three, four inches thick. Some places I'm sure it's six inches thick. And uh, I just pile it in here and then I throw chop in here so they'll work this up. And I just keep adding this to it. And then here you can see the bottom of this chicken wire. It's about six inches thick inside this pen. And before I done this, it, you know, we've had a lot of wet weather here. Uh, July was a pretty wet July compared to the rest of the country. And uh, it was getting to stink pretty bad and making a mud hole. Getting pretty nasty to get in and out of there. And uh, I just took and piled this in here, or piled some of this in here, and then give them a day or two to work it in, and then I put this dry stuff on top of it. I ran out of chicken feed, so uh, they got garden scraps today. Went to Tractor Supply yesterday, and uh, believe it or not, they was out of chicken feed. That's about three times that I went to get it, and they've been out of it. I believe I want to quit chicken, Tractor Supply. But uh, anyhow, if you notice a few younger chickens here, you're right. Those are some young pullets. My wife's uncle had... Uh, 
I think eight pullets and he was wanting to get rid of all of them but I didn't want them all and uh, ended up he decided to keep four of them he gave me four of them and then I'm gonna get rid of some of these roosters I'm gonna give him these roosters uh, I've got four roosters left and I think he's wanting two of them so I leave me with two of them that's about what I was wanting but I just throw these old cucumbers and stuff in here squash old tomatoes they love the tomatoes uh, table scraps they're the best composter ever was they'll even eat the meat and then you know they recycle it and it comes out the other end but uh yeah that's my that's my chicken flock update they've grew quite a bit and uh they have started laying oh yeah the rabbits are gone but they're still here they're they i turned them loose for the little girl to see them run and play and stuff and they kind of just stay under this building until we leave and then you can look out the windows and you can see them running all over the place but here we get about three eggs a day right now that's what we're getting and uh, you know that's about right i think i've got four laying hens and uh, they're good eggs you know they're no huge mungus eggs every time every now and then i'll get one that's pretty good size but we like eating them they're a lot better than store eggs but uh that's the update guys um, if you have a big yard and a, you always have a lot of clippings i suggest let me set these eggs now i suggest getting one of these the lawn sweeper i bought this one uh used where i work at the sanitation department is right beside our uh, water plant and uh one of the guys that worked there picked this up you see they had yellow paint painted on it and on the wheels had yellow paint uh took the wheels off and they they've got a gear plastic gear on the inside and they were stripped out so uh went to tractor supply and i bought a set like 30 bucks or something like that but uh, it does pretty good. Now, if it gets real thick grass, um, you kind of it'll lock it, lock the wheels up, and you have to back it up and then pull it forward and do that a couple times, and it'll free up. But that's the only problem I found with these is real, real thick grass that it doesn't like. But this right like this, it loves it. Like I said, I've hauled uh, five of these full today, and that's what I put in here on this and inside the coop. But, uh, you know, there's a guy down there in Arkansas. He kept saying that he was going to build a, uh, a chicken coop. I don't know. He must have forgot about it. Because I've never seen it yet. Or he, well, he showed the coop, but he, he's got those invisible chickens. And they lay them invisible eggs. I don't know how they taste, but, Coke Man, you're going to have to get on the ball. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting my channel. I appreciate all the views and comments. Catch you later.